the, you, you know, you're going to get it from both sides. And Joe Scarborough, one of our friends over at MSNBC, this morning he had said, and I'm sure you guys have heard mm -hmm. it, I want to get you guys to respond to it. He said that you guys should have listened to the police and you should have just moved on. Was that a possibility? Well, I would invite Joe Scarborough to come down to Ferguson and get out of 30 Rock, where he's sitting, you know, sipping his Starbucks smugly. I invite him to come down here and talk to the residents of Ferguson, where I've been Monday afternoon having tear gas shot at me, having rubber bullets shot at me, having mothers and daughters crying, having a 19-year-old boy crying as he had to run and pull his 21-year-old sister out from a cloud of tear gas, thinking he was going to die, I would invite Joe Scarborough down here and to do some reporting on the ground, and then he can, and then maybe we can have an educated conversation about what's happening here. Because frankly, as a reporter who's been on the ground, and I'm certainly not perfect, and I'm not to say I wouldn't maybe change little pieces of what I've done, but let me be clear about this. I have little patience for talking heads. Uh, this is too important. This is, this is a community. It's a community in the United States of America where, where things are on fire. There are things are on fire. This city is on edge. There's so much happening here. And instead of putting more reporters on the ground, we have people like Joe Scarborough who are running their mouths and have no idea what they're talking about. And on that, Wesley, do you regret anything that happened last night? I regret that the police were heavy handed. I, I regret that. Uh, I regret that they felt like they could infringe on my First Amendment rights to videotape them. I regret that when I said my bag's falling, I just need to adjust it. Uh, they refuse to allow me to do that because you know why I regret that because so much happened as I looked at the coverage by my fellow reporters on the ground here. There's so many people doing good work. So many stories needed to be told last night. The tear gas, uh, the way the riot police were acting, the protesters were being arrested. You had a local assemblyman arrested who was still in custody. My job down here is to be a reporter. I wish, I wish, I wish the police would have done their job and allowed us to do ours so that I could have told some of the stories happening down there. Yeah.